Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have Man, who we, who, who we got here, man? Come on, we, are we ready, man? Oh, we got Kodak with a message, Charlamagne talking about the little baby era, T Grizzly telling you about life insurance, Cash Dog getting got, and an update on Lil Reese. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Show, man. If this is your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. Yo, it helps your boy out. You see what I'm saying? Um, and, and ain't nothing wrong with helping folks out. You follow me? Uh, hit that notification bell so you can be first in line when we drop this in Sandy. You know how it is, man. They be trying to hide um, our notifications from our peoples, man. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, man. What you're getting today is what you're going to probably get tomorrow and what, what we gave out yesterday, man. It's, it's the same thing every day. Same thing every day. You see what I'm saying? Hey, yo, man, I want to give a shout out, man, to uh, Mary Jane on deck. She said, yo, celeb. Can you help me boycott the barber who cuts Tory's hair? Like, bruh, what the F? It looks like he got a toupee of naps sometime. Like, she's bruh. You got too much bread to have toe up. Mary Jane, never mind all that. What's up with the pick? Hey, yo, man, first on deck, man. Who, who's up first, man? Who, first, first up on deck. Yo, salute to all my Haitians in the building. Holding it down, man. It's like a fat man. You see how I'm fat by G feel I'm man. You see what I'm saying? Uh, you check this out. Haitian boy Kodak sounds to me like he playing the mature role and patching up all of the turbulence in his relationships. And that I could salute. In his song Dirty K, he name dropped a couple of folks saying, I got a song with Post Malone. M Malone. I got a song with Post Malone, but I ain't heard it yet. Which has me wondering, what exactly is Post Malone waiting on? Waiting on? You see what I'm saying? Is he nervous about releasing this song with Kodak? Is he waiting for the perfect moment? If Kodak had a massive come up, wouldn't it look weird for Post Malone to suddenly start riding the wave? You see what I'm saying? And grabbing his surfboard? Anyway, he also mentioned NBA young boy talking about, quote, My little brother young boy told me he look up to me. I don't know why, but he been feeling like it's F me now. About to call him trying to see what all this fussing's about. And, and yeah. Now would be the perfect time for that. Young boy doesn't seem doesn't seem to be as distracted as normal. You see what I'm saying? He added his nephew turned two and he cussing now. <laughs> I blame the culture. I mean, wh what do you think it is, Yak? Now, Yak also mentioned Meek Mill and made an interesting statement saying Meek Mill told me I should have at least 50 M's. But what's the point in you telling me if you ain't going to help me get it? <laughs> Close quote. Now, honestly, right? And I could be wrong. I've, I've been wrong two times in life. And one of those times I was wrong about that. Right. But I think the statement to Meek was a roundabout way of saying, yo, let's get on a song together. I'm sure it will generate a significant amount of income. You know, a lot of folks don't ask directly I'm, like women all the time. Right. You see what I'm saying? It's always an indirect, a meandering round, roundabout way. You're beating around the bush, which tends to result in exactly beating around the bush. Anyway, we hate rejection. Remember when Kanye screamed out in text, Lil Baby, my favorite artist, and he won't return my call. And Lil Baby was like, ain't nobody told me you was trying to link up. That was Kanye's way of saying, hey, yo, let's drop something together, fam. Meek, if you are listening, fam, it ain't no secret you spit fire, right? Hook up with Yak and get this paper. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna just hand you the money. Look, after the insanity right, that took place yesterday in Chicago, what's his name scurried onto the scene and posted... Nah, forget it. Hey, yo, we told you J. Cole ain't playing, right? With, with that uh, with that off season. He ain't cuffing around. And Lil Baby rolled up on the track, Pride is the Devil. Now, not only did J. Cole kill the joint, but Lil Baby came in behind him on the track with the Timbs to the dome and crushed the mic into powder. Lil Baby had no reason to do that, which ushers in the discussion of Lil Baby. Wayne is like, that's his number one. Kanye is like, that's his number one right now. I'm like, yeah, he definitely your favorite. You follow me? Even 6ix9ine was like, Lil Baby, my favorite. <laughs> right? I know, I know Lil Baby looking out the window like he ain't he ain't heard that. You that's what he said, fam. Okay? Look, I'm waiting for that track to come out. Uh between Lil Baby and uh 6ix9ine. That, that's gonna be something. Anyway, Wayno stated, quote. Man, months ago, me and uh, Charlemagne the G were talking and I said we were in the Lil Baby era. I was saying Drake still got it, but we entering his run. Ninja had a hard verse on Drake EP and on J. Cole's album. Y'all gotta, what is it? Y'all gotta have some respect. Y'all gotta put some respect 
on that ninja name for real, for reals, right? Close quote. Charlamagne the G stayed a little baby smoking everything. They'll figure it out later. He floated on this Cole album. Close quote. I like that. He floated, right? Like he, like he levitates over the whatever. And, and speaking of Tim's to the Dome, legendary producer Timberland came through and added, quote, big facts. It's his season and Lil Dirk's. Close quote. If you ain't heard J. Cole's Pride is the Devil, cue that sucker up for um after this joint. Then come back and let us know how fire the joint is. Are we in the little baby era? Let us know that in the comments when you come back, please. Okay. Hey, let me ask you a question. How much money does it take for you to fly off the handle? Post that joint in the comment section below. For me, it's like it's like a hundred bucks. 20 is like, damn, where my 20 at? Right? Where'd I put it? 50 is like, damn, what the F? A hundred is like flip the table, pointing at ninjas, accusing people passing by. Talking about, I know you did it. I know you did it in the baby carriage, right? Look, get this. Cash Doll has stated that she lost $500,000 worth of jewelry. Why the hell you have that kind of, why the hell you got $500,000 worth of jewelry in a car? Look, if I rented that jewelry, I wouldn't mind keeping it in the car. Anyway. She stated that she only locked her doors and that wouldn't have happened. If she only locked her doors, that would not have happened. That's right. The burglar had easy access into Shorty's ride through an unlocked car door. They even swiped a $50,000 Louis Vuitton box. If I was her, everybody I know is a suspect. People passing by, passers by, pa passerbys, whatever the, you want to call them, right? My mama's a suspect. My aunt is a suspect. The baby's a suspect. The first officers that showed up on the scene is a suspect. It'll be like the Nino Brown round table scene. Y you remember that? Hey, look, artist T Grizzly decided to urge rappers with a strong message, dare I say last message, about life insurance. Yo, take a listen. So look, right, as rappers, as successful black men from the trenches, bro, we the number one target and we the least prepared. You feel me? So I feel like everybody should have life insurance, bro. I need everybody to go get life insurance if you ain't got it. If you got kids, I need you to get a wheel set up, bro, for your kids, bro. So God forbid anything happen, but if anything happen, your people ain't bold after you gone because you wouldn't prepare. You ain't had your shit together, bro. You know what I'm saying? We the number one target. We the least prepared, bro. I need us to get on top of this shit. We need to get life insurance. We need to get our wheels right so the next generation don't have to go as hard as we did and have to go through everything we did. You feel me? Leave some comments on this page, man. If you feel like you know some shit that can help us out, help us start getting ready for that time, God forbid it happen. You know what I'm saying? But if you know something that can help us prepare for the future for our family, bro, put a comment down below, man. And let's get a conversation going about this shit. And speaking of which... And finally, we reported to you uh, yesterday the story concerning Lil Reese getting shot with two other men, one 27, I believe, and the other 20. And now, um, and, and, and of course, uh, Lil Reese. Now, so far, right, there are two stories that have come out. One story is that Lil Reese and the two other men stole someone else's Dodge Durango. Dodge Durango. I think it's a Dodge Durango, right? Dodge Durango and sped off and the owner tracked them down by GPS, like in a damn movie, which led them, which led him to a parking garage. And surprise, surprise, the dude came with heat. A shootout occurred. C can you imagine that? You work mad hard, going to work every day. Boss getting on your nerve. Uh, what's that name down the hall? Pissing you off. You finally got enough ends to cop yourself a ride. So you, you don't have to wait at the damn bus stop or rely on someone else for once. You drop the bag, get your ride. It's a Durango. Now you're trying to save up money all over again to get the next big item or stay afloat, which requires you to be on time to work. Right? So, you know, you're not late all the time. That ain't an issue. Because you got that Durango you work so hard for that you got to pay off. Then you come outside early in the morning around 8-ish. And you know you parked the joint right over here. Right? You park it here all the time. You wasn't that nice. Right? You know where you parked the whip? Now you're going up and down the block like, yo, I know someone ain't get me for my joint. Not believing you got got while simultaneously believing you got got. You know how it is. Luckily for you, you left the burner phone in the ride and that Find My Phone app is finally useful for once. You track it down, right? Burner in hand, only to find out a rapper and his two friends got your joint. And the rapper is notoriously known for, well, you know. A fight ensues and you realize if I win, it can't be good. 
He's just gonna come for me, right? So if I gotta pull out, then I got oh, there he goes, he's pulling out. I got to do the same. It's about, it looks like today I got to murk me a rapper. Look, I was just trying to get into the flea market early. But here I is ducking and firing. M my bad. You, you know I'll be going all the way with it, right? That's how I imagined the whole the whole thing was for the GTA victim. Anyway, the first story, right? Because, you know, there's two stories about this. The guy uh, who tracked Reese down said that his vehicle was stolen. It's in the video that you all saw that you know we couldn't post, right? He said, yeah, that's what you get for stealing stealing my ride, right? Um, I guess there was a beatdown and a shootout occurred. One man, 20-year-old, shot in the legs. The other was shot in the chest and, and is in critical condition. While the third man, Lil Reese, had a bullet graze his eye. Grazed his eye. Grazed his eye. You're like, where'd he get hit? You know what it is, right? If that ain't a message from the most high, I don't know what it is, right? You were shot in the neck and shot in the eye and you are in fair condition, sitting up, talking to the fuzz, asking questions. That is nothing short of miraculous. Of course, 6 9 came out the cut with his usual antics, talking about a GoFundMe, but whatever. Now, Reese's side of the story was that he was purchasing weed from two other people and it was stated, quote, Lil Reese told police that he met the people in the Durango outside of the garage and directed them to where to drive so he could buy cannabis from them. The report said the other people shot um, gave police very little information. Look, <laughs> I don't know what happened. I was just trying to buy, you know, something from the dudes over there and all of a sudden, bullets started whizzing past my ears. You see what I'm saying? You let us know what you think. Do you buy, um, I, which one of these stories are you buying? You know what I mean? Do you think that Reese and two other people stole this vehicle? Or do you think Reese was minding his business getting something and somebody else just came out the cut and started light, lighting things up? You know, let us know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Oh, by the way, man, for those of y'all, man, I like to support the channel, man. Yo, first of all, we know a lot of y'all support the channel, channel with your subs. We appreciate you for that. A lot of y'all support the channel with the memberships, man. Gold, bronze, diamond, the whole nine y'alls. Much love and respect for that. All right. But uh, we just um, started our, our, our cash app joint. Just in case you feel like you want to support um, the source through the cash app, man. You can cash app us, man. It's the dollar sign celebs sauce. All right. Dollar sign celeb source. Hopefully, source is posting that sucker up on the screen so you can see what it is, man. Just in case you want to support your boy with 50 cent. You know what I mean? A dollar. We, we, we appreciate a dollar. You know what I mean? Um, and of course, we definitely love y'all when you support us with your views, man. That's definitely important, man, because we like to push our information out, man. Yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.